So a very consequential match here between two CTM Masters event champions. Let's go ahead and get him started in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, looks like we do. In fact, oh, let me get rid of that. I'm going to have, that's going to be a continual struggle for me is getting rid of the uh, same piece peaker. <laughs> but we are underway. Both of these players are CTM Masters event winners. Huffleupagus won in September 2022 and November of 2023. Huff also a winner of the Honda Fan Cup in 2022. The WPL Columbus uh, Championship in 2022. So, won a CTM, a Honda Fan Cup, and a WPL. The three most prestigious events, of course, in Tetris. And, uh, of course, very famous here for finishing second in the finals. But I guess that's where you finish second. In the finals in Classic Tetris World Championship 2021. And he has finished in the top eight of at least every CTWC he's played, according to our crack research staff. 118 Huff. He's going to get a couple of Tetris here. 140, 118 for Gerald. Is that true? Top eight every time? What about 2021? Did he, did he finish 2021 top eight? I think so. Yes, he did. Of course he did. So yeah, top eight of every single CTWC he's played. That's pretty good. And Gerald, of course, also a two-time CTM Masters event winner, one in 22 and one in 2023, just like Huffleupagus. He's won two seasons of CTLs, never appeared in the Classic Tetris World Championship, but has 18 appearances in the Masters event and Mega Masters event. Two thirteen for Huff. Two th same scores, same lines. And the result of this match will be our final top eight. Uh, I'm sorry, our top. Uh, we're already in the top eight. <laughs> uh, top four, our, our final top eight match. The final semi-finalist. Or the semi-final finalist. I don't know which one it is. Players super close right now. Just two lines and 2,000 points separating them. <laughs> Cobalt. With the online facts. So a couple of former... I think everybody left now has won... CTM Masters event like multiple times. Well, no, not multiple times. Scooty has not won multiple times. He's only won the one time. Three fifty-seven Huff, three twelve Gerald. But of course, Scooty's going to win multiple times, right? I don't know. It's hard to say that nowadays because there's so many good players and the skill gap between everybody is so close. <laughs> but, uh, 402 Huffleupagus 381 for Gerald another long bar over for Huffleupagus 425 454 Gerald 497 Huffleupagus Gerald coming out of the green bracket Huff coming out of the uh <laughs> what's the name for that color Tawny <laughs> that's that's a color 
I don't know who chose that color. I, mean, I don't know where that came from. Might have said like rust colored or something, but there was chosen. The name was Tawny, which sounds like, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's family friendly. 567 Huffle Huffle is 530 Gerald. Burnt Sienna. That's not quite. It's close to like the Texas Longhorns color. <laughs> it is actually burnt sienna. That sounds like very painful. Poor sienna. Tetris for Gerald 558, one line away from the 19 transition. Let's set up long bar column nine to get there. Huff is going to Tetris in at 638. Well, story, story time, kids. There was once a presidential candidate named Gary Hart. All right, look it up. Anyway, Tetris for Gerald, 632, 664 for Huffleupagus. <laughs> Other Tetris Huff, 715. He's back by one line and ahead by about... 30,000 points. Thunder Wizard says, still can't believe Fractal versus Sidnev was a match to get into the top eight. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I might mess with the format next year. I've been thinking about some changes to the format. Like maybe based on the previous year's performance, maybe giving 16 players a, a, a buy or something like that. I don't know. I might mess with it a little bit. I'm sure it's not going to make Marfram happy on Liquidpedia. It's like, oh my God, I got to figure out another, <laughs> got to figure out a whole other bracket. Oh my word. 836 Huffle is 825 Gerald. Another Tetris Huff, 866. Huffalovic is 896, 859 Gerald. So it's been really close. It's been within, you know, about a, you know, one or two Tetrises pretty much the entire way or most of the way anyway. Tom J says, doesn't Fractal use a different console than basically everyone else? Does that make a difference? Yeah, it makes it harder. <laughs> he uses the, oh, but only slightly. It's only one frame difference. It's, you know, virtually you know, undetectable by regular mortal humans, but for Fractal, there is an adjustment to be made. And even I, you know, I when I was on the AVS, it did feel like an adjustment. Like, you could feel it, but, you know, a couple days to get over it. 975 Huff. Gerald's got the max out in the lead now. Gerald A59 Tetris for Huff A42. We're on level 27. Players gunning for those 1.1 transitions into 29. <laughs> I know. I got all these old people references, you know? Gary Hart, Howard Stern. Oh, my word. All right, both players have got the 1.1s. Tetrises. Gerald ahead by about 18,000. Another one for Gerald. He's into 29 at a CO2. B84 transition for Huffleupagus, and here we go. All right. They're just trying to keep it low, trying to deal with their pieces, trying to get set up. And Gerald uh, not being super aggressive. Oh, kind of a misdrop over on that left side. It's going to take some cleanup, and one for Huff as well. We'll see what Huff can do here. Gerald's getting his down, but another T misdrop. Both players in a little hot water. Huff needs a scent. Well, I guess he doesn't need it. He's just clearing it away. Oh, misdrop with the S is going to do it for Huff, and he is going to top out. And Gerald is ahead and will take game number one. GG's.
let's get him started here in game number two gerald and huff gerald up one game to none three to one tetris alexander osay i think says vandy you the best heart thank you very much alexander appreciate the kind words very rare on youtube most of the time it's like can he just talk about tetris why is he talking about sandwiches and salt and fasting it's good to see some positive sentiment toward your old pal van dweller on youtube Game Scout says that was the first game Huff lost all tournament. That's right, because he swept uh, Dangler. Why does Vandy's chat voice sound like Kermit? Because you're all, I don't know, you all sound like Kermit to me, I guess. FCR plays want, uh, wants more sandwich talk. 608 Huffalefagus. All right, beautiful JPs to fill in that right side for Huff. Looking for another one for the middle of the stack. He's going to get a Tetris. Let me take some burns here. Trying to be efficient, but game wasn't really giving him pieces here. Now, what's he going to do? Is he going to set up? He's going to set up. And he is set up, and he's going to get a dirty Tetris in the middle of the stack. And he's setting up again, I think. No, he's just going to take that double in a single. Not going to mess around. That's how you get in trouble. No need. It's early. It's close. Don't need to do that. Tetris for Huff, 164, 163, Gerald. Barrett says, I want to hear Vandy talk more about electrolyte powders. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get one as a sponsor because I don't know. We've listen, I, you know, all these great people that we've been affiliated with, you know, these we've had affiliate links in the past, and they're great, and nothing on them, but I can be honest, I don't use a lot of those products, you know, it was just like, oh, whoever, whatever's out there. But I don't know. I don't, it doesn't feel good. We're going to have affiliates. I want it to be stuff that I can really endorse. So there are, I mean, I do take electrolytes daily. And it would be great to get a sponsor from Element. So Element, if you're watching, Rob Wolf, with two Bs, if you're watching right now, I'm a fan. I'm a customer. Make it happen. 299 for Gerald, 258 for Huff. There's a couple of Tetrises, one for each 282 Huff. 322 for Gerald. A VPN sponsor. Well, yeah, I would love uh I would love that. Yeah, I use Proton Mail, big fan of Proton Mail, and I have their whole bundle with their VPN and the whole thing. Arthritis medication sponsor. Yeah, of course. I would never take such a thing. Kidding. Better help. Yeah. Better help for the YouTube chat. Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all need that for sure. 352 for Huff, 394 for Gerald. I mean, we all need it, right? We all need it. I don't want to, but they especially need it. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. Tetris Gerald 440, 399 for Huff. Butter help. Oh, that sounds awesome. Butter help. That's it. You've you've I've come up with my product now. You've given me the idea. Butter help. Hey sharks. Doc Pie with the prime resub 23 months says, what did I miss? You missed everything. <laughs> Don't leak the next CTM sponsor. Alright, I won't. It's a butter helper. <laughs> That's what it is. It's to help your butter. 494 Huff, 511 Gerald. Huff setting up the Vitz. Everyone loves it. Jay Huang is going to love it. <laughs> Jay Huang loves Vitz, yes. 
All right, Gerald doing some cleanup near the bottom of the board. It's going to allow Huff to uh, cut into this lead and maybe even take one. This Huff is clean, but we're getting a little drought, a little mini. We need a mini trout. And it's, you know, it's, it's kind of uncanny because as soon as you mention trout, even before you get your emojis out or emotes or whatever they are, emojis, uh, the drought ends. Just a few lines away, Huff is from the level 19 transition. The speed increases by 50%, 50 percent, 50. And so Huff probably not going to get a Tetris here into 19. But just a couple lines of burning here. Gerald is in at 559. Huff going to get a Tetris, though, 619. Now on level 19, 583, Gerald. There is a Tetris Huff, 645. He's ahead by about 62,000 points. Gerald gets a Tetris. Oh, the other accomplishment, right? Now, wasn't Huff top four in the... Uh, ex or maybe was he the runner-up in the extreme sports of the Berenstain Bears World Championship? He's at least top four. <laughs> Forgot about that one. All right, Tetris down for Huff, 728. Gerald's been kind of fighting some garbage here for a while. Carry gold is good and uh, almost, I mean, just as good, honestly, as uh, the Costco grass fed butter. People are mentioning carry gold. We're still talking about butter, I guess. The Costco grass fed butter is, is really good too and a little cheaper. But I think they're both from New uh Well, no, the, the Costco is from New Zealand and, of course, carry gold from Ireland. 688 Gerald, 804 Huffalephagus. Yeah, Huff's over 100,000 point lead. Gerald going to get some of it back now. And now people are uh, talking about other dairy products. We got a whole thing going on. Tetris Huff, 843. 750 Gerald. Another Tetris Huffleupagus. Gerald is set up, but has a really uh, unaccommodating board at the top. So he had to create a gap, and so he's going to have to go to work clearing this away. It's going to give Huff a little more time if he can avoid a slowdown. See if Gerald's going to set up in the middle. No, he's just going to take... Yeah, he's going to move that well over to the right side again. Tetris for Huff on the right side. 944, level 26. Taking a couple of skims. Clear away a gap on the left side. All right, Tetris Gerald, 871. Huff gets one, 984. Huff a little bit ahead in lines, so it's a touch closer than it would appear at first. Simul Tetris. Huff with the max out, he's on 28. I always think I'm out of butter, so I always, like, I see butter and I buy it. So I got a freezer full of butter. <laughs> Tetris Huff, A62. Kind of high on this board. We'll see what he can do. Long bar over for the triple. That's going to bring this board back down to safety. Gerald, two lines away. Not going to be able to uncover in time for 29. He's going to get, he gets a Tetris, 995. Huff's got the 1.1. 1 .1. He's on level 30. Gerald clean now gets another Tetris. A35. There's one Huff. B58. Both are set up. Gerald gets one. A72. Huff is ahead by about 90,000 points. He's ahead by about six lines. Huff gets a Tetris. C13. Gerald's just going to take that triple down the right side. Huff going to take a split double, trying to get that board back in order. Gerald is set up for one, has to cover, trying to uncover again. Huff takes another triple. Gerald, another triple. So Huff's ahead by about 126,000 or so. All 
right gerald a misdrop of the l in the middle of the stack that's going to slow him down for a few lines huff is clean but not tetra's ready still ahead by about 120 something thousand points it's about three tetrises worth of points gerald clean now and set up for a tetris has to bring it down oh and he makes the adjustment with the j to get tetris ready for that long work coming in how do you see that b84 for gerald now it's huff's turn to scramble the middle of that board is a mess he's gonna top out c67 so gerald oh no gerald's board but he's yeah gerald's gonna top out and huff has taken game number two and ties it up ggs <laughs> that's a, such a common huff look right just looking to the right arms in the air i mean you see that a million times huff's amazing ggs what was once a best of five now a best of three let's go three to one tetris i mean how much time have i saved now right i mean just with that little little technology vandy you know saving tetris yet again <laughs> i'm gonna make a um i'm gonna make a piece um like a piece count peeker because i don't want to have it on screen the whole time but it is sometimes interesting to know. And so I'm going to make a little peeker there for like long bars or a couple of bars. I don't know. I got to figure out how that would work. Because you can't just put bars because people are like, well, is that a lot of bars? You need a comparison. But then do I want to put all seven pieces on there? I don't know. Maybe for a short period of time. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I need a, a stat keeper for, um, we need a stat for how many bad, you know, miss input seeds that the seed checker has saved us, right? $2 super chat from Joseph A on YouTube. Video game controller gives a thumbs up and says GG. Yes, indeed. Huffleupagus is a video game controller. 138 Huffleupagus, 119 for Gerald as we are underway early in game number three crucial game always whether you're up 2-0 down 2-0 or whether it's tied it's a very important game is game three why not percents how am i going to calculate a percent <laughs> like how am i going to do that Now I know you take the, you know, the one number divided by the other number <laughs> as a percentage. I don't mean how do you calculate a percent? I mean, how are we gonna do that? All right, nice little burn there for Gerald. He's gonna uncover the well, get uh, get a Tetris 172, 231 Huffleupagus. It's like, yeah, we could use all that screen scraper stuff. And it's just, I, I think it's great. And it's, you know, in a controlled environment, all that Tetris, uh, the Yobi uh, thing or whatever, Yobi Vision, whatever it's called. Nestris Champs. That's great in a controlled environment. In an uncontrolled environment where it's like players doing it, it's too unwieldy. So we just can't get the advanced stats and stuff like that. I mean, at some point, it would be great if we could convert all that stuff locally. Like that is the that's the solution I really want. But that's reliable and we could technically do it with nestor's champs but i think the chain of things that you got to put to get that to happen it's tough like that's what i would really want 332 half 11 is 291 gerald it's like yeah you could technically do it with the existing tech but you know it's uh, it's like daisy chaining like multiple unreliable things <laughs> 354 huff 336 gerald all right huff's gonna tuck that t in the middle of that stack that'll look nice flatten it out 377 for huff gerald gets a long bar down 382 gerald a little bit ahead in lines not too much not too many though once huff gets a bar which he does But I don't know, um, but what I don't want is for the players to have to install anything or run something locally because that is just, 
and, and it's not the player's fault it's just you know the technology is so janky because everything's like analog and you gotta have a match and then you got uh you know you gotta you gotta uh, capture it you've got to uh line everything up perfectly i mean or, or at least have software that the, i mean it's it's just a tough thing to do so i would love to have all those advanced stats but right now in my opinion only feasible in a live environment where you can control everything 457 gerald 479 huff skater dade says hi vandy well hello skater dade Tetris Huff 503. All right, Huff going for that column four Tetris. He's going to get the bar and the Tetris. And he's just going to uh, transfer the well over to the right side. 526 Huff 508. Gerald Huff ahead and score behind the lines by a few. Yeah, exactly. I don't want um, Dan Weller's on kick says hello, Vandy. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to put additional, you know, burden on the players. I want them to show up and play Tetris, not be, you know, fumfering around with technology and worried about that while they're playing, you know? Oh, my capture went out. I mean, that already happens enough. Imagine how you got these other systems going out in the middle of the game. I don't, I don't want it. 581 Huff, 533 Gerald. Gerald's going to transition up a little high. That left side is kind of a mess. We'll see what Gerald can do here. Got it. All right. He's up on 19. I mean, this is doable for uh, 19, but it's still kind of high and not guaranteed. I mean, these players are good, but things can happen. Gerald trying to fight this down. 632 Huff, 544. Gerald's like, no, I can't do it. Missed drop. Not going to happen. So Huff is good in game number three. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. It's one to two. That's right. A Gerald one, Huff two. Okay, game four, players underway. Getting their initial Tetrises here within the first 20 lines. Getting a little trouted here. Long bar over Huff, has to make a little gap. This will clear away pretty easily. You got some perfect pieces to do it. So Huff, 97,000, there is a Tetris for Gerald, 116. All right, Gerald to the Vitz. I just saw that at the last possible moment. Tetris, Gerald, 161, 165, Huff, Olefagus. You know, you live, you live an entire life, you know, decades. And you don't know what's coming is that you're going to be saying the word Huffleupagus thousands of times. <laughs> you know, and life's funny that way, isn't it? 193, Huffle, if you had asked me at the age of 20, will you be saying the word Huffleupagus? Like all the time in your 40s? I'd be like, no way. But here we are. 237 Gerald, 218 Huff. <laughs> Game Scout. Game Scout ready to be a dad. He's got the dad puns and jokes and all that. 
Just ready to go. Tetris Gerald, 282, 244, Huff. Dragapult says, I feel like Alex T has the best odds of anyone to take down Fractal. Well, I got some news for you, uh, Dragapult. <laughs> I got some very sad news for you. 307, Gerald, 270, Huffleupagus. Tetris Huff, 293. So Huff ahead in lines, behind in score. Have you been thinking about adding TRT, Vandy? No. Natty, bro. Oh, you mean Tetris Rape. Adam, I just... <laughs> I literally just talked about this, like, 10 minutes ago. Three forty-seven, huh? Three eighty for Gerald. All right, Huff set up, and Huff gets a Tetris. Three seventy through ninety lines, four hundred three. Gerald through eighty-seven. Sorry, we dropped a few frames there. Not much we can do about that. If I lived in a house, I would have redundant internet. Like I would literally get two. Uh, fire, you know, fiber, whatever. But no option here in this apartment. Gerald setting up with a long bar in column nine. Huff gets a Tetris 418. He's 30,000 points behind, about six lines ahead. <laughs> All right, people on Twitter. It's so funny because I see the unified chat, right? I see Twitch and YouTube chat interweaved with one another, collated with one another, but they're totally different conversations, right? <laughs> it's bizarre. So Twitch is just rhyming. They're just doing things that are rhyming. And, you know, YouTube is just doing YouTube stuff. I don't, I don't know what they're, but it's just totally it's bizarre. 511 Huffleupagus, 543 Gerald. They've had about this same um, score difference for a while. All right, Huff with a Tetris, but you got some gaps here as we approach level 19. Gerald has created some gaps in, the, in his stack. That's going to require some attention. Huff on the left well gets a Tetris into 19. And we'll get a nice long bar for that left side to bring that well back over where it belongs. 616 transition for Gerald. 564 Huffleupagus. Tetris for Huffleupagus. Another one for Huff. 613. Gerald clean gets a Tetris. 666000. Oh my god, Monkas. Tetris Huff 640. This is the second of two matches today. We will have two more matches tomorrow. We'll be starting an hour later than we started today, and that will be the winner of this against Blue Scooty, the boy who beat Tetris. The Blue Scooty of legend. 720 for Huff. 769, Gerald. Tetris Huff, 775. 25,000 points behind. A few, uh, well, they're closer in lines now. All right, Gerald with kind of some jank on the right side. That's going to take some clearing away. And if Huff can stay clean, he can take this lead back. There's a Tetris Huff. All right, Gerald has cleaned down. That was pretty fast. Here's a Tetris for Huff. He's got the lead. He's ahead by four lines. And he's got it. And Gerald actually kind of still cleaning up. Long bar will do it. And now he's set up and gets a Tetris over the right side. 873. It is super close. One Tetris less than a Tetris. 
separating these two players in just a couple of lines now. Long bar over Huff, 932. Oh, Huff has two, I mean, uh, Gerald, two long bars in a row that he can't use for Tetris is finally uncovers, gets a Tetris 909. Huff at 963, there is a Tetris. Huff into level 26. And Gerald gets in there too at 973, both one away, or Gerald almost kind of one away. Pretty close. Oh no, he is, he is one away. What do I know? Nothing, as we have learned. Huff's got the max out, he's on 26. Gerald gets it AO6. All right, Huff uh, ripping pieces over to the left side, stashing them away. Tetris is on the right, A68. About 15 lines away from the level 29 transition. Huff is into 28. Huff right now with a 20,000 point lead and three lines ahead. It is super close as we head to level 29 and beyond. And there's a Tetris Ruff, B49 into 29. Gerald getting a little bit high on the board. Can't use a bar as a covered well. Huff's middle of his board is a mess. Gerald's going to Tetris into 29 at B34. Huff trying to eke out some last second lines here. Gerald is good already here on 29. And we are heading to a decider. Huff looked, uh, you know, fairly clean going into 29. I must have missed what happened. I was watching Gerald's board to see what, you know, what his transition was like. But all of a sudden I look over and Huff is spiraling. Oh, oh, oh no, it seems like a... Seems like a natural to me, if, unless he can save it. Nope. Rip FMS. Who goes to the semifinals? Let's count them down. Three, two, one, Tetris. Whew. These are the first two games that Huffleupagus has dropped in this entire tournament. We prefer doing things our own way. But trying not to do so now. Why is my Mega Masters page not loading? Let's, oh, there we go. Huff's path here was through. Akatu, Miles the Great, and the Dangler. Gerald getting through Jakob, Guafi, and Sodium. Whoever gets through will have a very tough draw in Blue Scooty. Gerald's board getting up a little high here. Gonna open up the right. Oh, we are. This is a drought. This is a real drought. Gerald gets a bar over and gets the Tetris. Huff cannot use that bar, so he's waiting for the next one. And he gets another one. He can't use that one either. But he is bringing the board down, and his board was clean. So no problem for Huff. He's going to get a Tetris 126, 108 for Gerald. That was a little scary. Pretty funny, Jacob Maddox. Pretty funny. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right, Tetris Gerald 159. Huff trying to get set up. And there's a Tetris for Huff 175. Huff back by four lines and 7,000 points. Ah, the tension.
I mean, this is hard. I can't even imagine playing this, but it's tough to it's just tough to watch. I mean, it's just so tense for me as a viewer. I got, I got, you know, I don't care who wins, <laughs> you know. Tetris Huff 293, 259, Gerald. 99 cent super chat from Joseph A on YouTube says face screaming in fear. Yeah, that's right. If you don't have uh, an emote, then just describe the emote, right? Just type what it is if you don't have it. <laughs> face screaming in fear. So we're chugging along here as we get about two thirds of the way. Oh, Huff with the five below on that left side, standing that J piece up and making room for an O-Tuck. Five below Huff back by about, uh, about 6,000 points at the same line count. So very, very close. Massive Zebra has gifted a tier one sub to Scooty's grandpa. Thank you, Massive Zebra. You are massive and a zebra. Thank you so much for your support to the channel. 475 Gerald 440 Huffleupagus. It all comes down to this one game. Vandy, we see the face on YouTube. You just don't see it. So I guess it translates to text. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> face. Just says face screaming in fear. All right. It's a virtual dead heat. Gerald into 19 at 530. Huff looking for a bar just to... All right. He's going to take some safety burns here just to have a good... 19 transition. Tetris Gerald, 582. And let's see. Huff's going to set up with that long bar in column nine. He's a little high on the board. He might just have to take the burns. And this is an awkward 19 transition, but, you know, rollers, so they can survive anything. Huff going to uncover that right side. Long bar down for it. Tetris, 528. Gerald's at 636. Huff back by uh, 12 lines or so. Tetris for both 693 Gerald 583 Huff 90,000 point lead Huff is back by 10 lines though and Tetris is here worth like 27,000 or, or something like that they're just keeping pace with one another now just maintaining that score difference Huff setting up the Vits. Jay Huang loves it. Everyone loves the Vits. All right, Huff trying to keep that right side. Uncover gets a long bar over another one to fill in that dependency in column three up high on the board. So Huff's board looking pretty good now. 699 for him. Long bar set up column nine for a Tetris for Gerald. So now he's looking for the bar to convert. Huff going to get a Tetris 736. And getting droughted now. Tetris Gerald, 877, 766 Huff. Long bar down Tetris. <laughs> it's a decider. 
We're now about 30 to 40 lines away from the level 29 transition. Puff's board needs a little attention. And he's bringing it down. Oh, that's a terrible S piece. So he has to plop it right in the middle. And he's losing pace now. Gerald with the A42. He's now got a 230,000 point lead. Gerald. Tetra's down for Huff finally. Now again, Huff back by 10 to 12 lines. So it's closer than it looks. Tetra's for Gerald. B13. He's got a 1.1. Huff's got the 9... 14 on 27. Gerald five lines away from the level 29 transition. Tetris Huff 949. And Gerald is in at B22. His board is not clean. So it's going to take some digging here at the bottom. It's low. It's not super dangerous for these players, but Huff's going to get a Tetris, 989. He's one away. He's not even going to mess around with setting up for that last Tetris, but he's setting up for a center wheel Tetris and gets it. A28 for Huff 11 against B41 for Gerald. Gerald 12 lines ahead still. Gerald into level 31. Huff on 29. He's now into 30. And Gerald just getting singles and doubles here, trying to bring this back down. Huff getting ready to set up for a Tetris. He set up, gets a Tetris on the right side. A78, Huff Olavigas. The middle of Gerald's stack has a lot of gaps here. See if he can bring this down. Huff is clean. Tetris ready and gets it. B19. Gerald working this down, trying to get it back clean again. Huff is clean and waiting for the bar. Skims and gets a Tetris. Huff Olavigas, B61. He's back by 22,000 points. Gerald is clean. He is set up. Getting pieces to the left, but he's got a long bar dependency. He gets a Tetris over, but the middle of his stack is a mess. What is he going to do? All right, he's bringing it down bit by bit. And he's, you know, it's low, but it's just a lot of drudgery here trying to bring this back down. Huff is trying to get set up for another one. Gets it up, and there's a Tetris for Huff. C25, he's back by 17,000 points. Huff is going to be set up. Will he be set up? Yes, he is set up, but he's going to have to bring it down. He's set up again. Gets a Tetris into the lead for Huff Olavigas. He's got C75. Gerald now has a cleaner board. He gets a dirty Tetris column three. So Gerald is ahead by 22,000 points. Oh, no. And Huff Olavigas, I think, is going to top out here. And he is. He's going to top out at C80. And Gerald is good in game number five. And will be moving on to the semifinals. Oh, my word. Oh my word, Huff like wrestled the lead back from Gerald. And I thought, honestly, there was a couple of times where I thought Gerald was cooked, but uh, he is gonna hang on, work the stack down and get just far enough ahead to outlast Huff Olafagus. GG's to you, Gerald Freeman. You are in the top four. Congratulations to you, Gerald. Hey everybody, this is your old pal, Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you and have a nice day.